Welcome back. My next guest joins me from Custom Street, where the Nigerian Stock Exchange is located. And of course, trading is already, the, the market is already set in continuous trade. Last week, we saw the market closing 1.39% week on week. Let's see where we're starting off this last uh, trading week in the month of September. Rotimi Fakai is the CEO of Enterprise Stockbrokers and an equities trader. Good morning, Rotimi. Good morning, Harriet. So it's great to have you join me on the program. Let's start off Thank with um, taking a look at what happened on Friday, particularly with the oil and gas stocks. Now, for the week ended, the oil and gas index finished at 6.44%, uh, mostly on the back of gains recorded by Conoil. And my last guest, uh, Wale, who was here just a bit a moment ago, talked about the fact that investors' positive rally in Conoil actually was what contributed to that positive gain recorded by the index. Give us a sense of where these oil and gas stocks are. Owando, Conoil, uh, Forte Oil, MRS, Mobile, the big seven we track. Where are they trading at the moment? What's the investors' appetite or sentiments towards these equities? Well, it's a brand new week, and um, the, for the oil and gas sector, uh, what we see right now is still a flat position for, the, for that particular sector index. And uh, for the likes of uh, corn oil, we saw that uh, it traded flat on Friday, and that implies that uh, the, uh, the rally for that particular stock may gradually be coming to a halt, if not already. And uh, presently, for the likes of Forte Oil and uh, Rwando, I think uh, the position is still hasn't change at all. So we hope that uh, as trading trends, and uh, particularly so because this is the last trading week of the quarter, and this quarter is also very significant. So we are still going to see some rally in some of these stocks before the end of the week. So it's a brand new week as well for the other stocks that we track here on the program. Give us a sense of where the market is this morning. Uh, well, presently the market is trending at 0.07% uh, positive. And uh, that gain is coming on the back of um, uh, PZ, uh, which has gained uh, about 7, 6% today. And also uh, Cadbury, which has gained about 4.95%. And on the loser side, we haven't seen any significant change yet, it's done except for Calvertin, which is losing about 10 cobalt, and also SCMB losing about 1 cobalt. So that is the reason why we're still having the, uh, the, uh, the position of the market still at a very low ebb. And uh, we believe that uh, we, as trading continues, right now we have done a volume of 12.99 million and a value of 101 million. So it's still very low as at this point in time, but we expect that trading will pick up as time continues. So in the last couple of trading sessions, we've seen investors' uh, uh, appetite towards insurance stocks kind of waning. Give us a sense of where that index is. It finished a week on change. There was no movement at all. Give us a sense of where insurance stocks are on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Uh, well, for the insurance sector stocks, as of uh, this morning, it's still trading flat as it did on Friday. And uh, good to know is that uh, it's, the one, it's the sectoral index that has lost the most, since, uh, that has a year to date position uh, in, in, the, uh, in a very high negative position. And it presently is trending at about uh, negative 8% year to date. Uh, but for this morning, it's still trading very flat. And the likes of uh, custodian insurance, which normally blazes uh, the trail in that particular sector. We see trading flat as well, but there is a high bid for that part, for the stock as a present. So, Rosemi, let's read the tea leaves together. It's still early, you know, trade yet, but of course we're, we're basically seeing where the market will finish out. Most analysts are predicting that there'll be profit taking uh, for this week, and so we might see a reversal in the gains that were recorded uh, for the week just ended. Do you share the same view? No, I do not, because uh, uh, for, for the fact that this week, uh, by, the, by Friday, the month will be ending, and also the, um, the quarter will be ending. I still see more, I, see, I, I, I foresee that profit taking coming up next week. Hmm. But I still see the market coming up this week in order to even out the negative uh, year to day position. Year to day position right now is negative 1.38%. I believe that the quarter is going to close positive. And I think uh, that definitely uh, will imply 
a profit taking by the time we enter into the coming week. But for this week, I still believe that the market will go up. Okay. So let's keep our fingers crossed on that and watch the numbers. Thank you so much, Rosemi, for joining me on the program this morning and giving us a sense of where the equities market is. The market is, a set, is already set in continuous trade, and Rosemi says it's looking good. So we'll keep our eye on those numbers for you.